Module 3. Pump Only Preparation Connections and Startup. This module reviews controller operation and pump priming instructions for procedures leveraging the LifeSpark system. In addition to this training module, the LifeSpark Controller Operations Manual and LifeSpark Pump Directions for Use are available to assist you with pump preparation and setup. LifeSpark Preparation and Setup will require both a sterile operator and a non-sterile operator. Start system setup by powering on the controller. Next, the non-sterile operator opens the pump package using aseptic technique and the sterile operator removes the pump and places it in the sterile field. The sterile operator opens the inner pouch, removes the pump, and hands off the connecting end of the pump power drive line to the non-sterile operator. The non-sterile operator removes the red protective cap and connects the pump drive line to the pump receptacle located below the controller user interface. The sterile operator places the pump on its side, holding the ends of both the inflow and outflow tubing evenly in one hand, removes the red and blue protective tubing caps, and slowly fills the inflow tubing of the pump with 60 cc's of saline. The sterile operator taps the pump to dislodge any air bubbles that may be present in the blood chamber of the pump. Next, the sterile operator slowly pushes saline from a second 60cc syringe into the outflow tubing and taps the pump and tubing to facilitate air removal from the circuit. Finally, the sterile operator clamps both the inlet blue stripe and outlet red stripe tubing below the fluid line and performs a final inspection to ensure all air has been removed from the pump and tubing. There is a secondary flow path incorporated into the design of the LifeSpark pump. To verify that the secondary flow path is air-free, inspect the bottom or underside of the pump for air. The pump is now ready for wet-to-wet -wet connections to inflow and outflow cannula.